Hey Linux fanatics, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's build a Linux PC for under $1,000. As for the case, the one thing we want to look out for is the ability to add drives. Most low-end cases only give you bays for two drives and, from my perspective, that's never enough. In fact, my System76 Thelio has bays for five total 3.5 drives, and I could use two more. But for this build, we'll limit ourselves to four bays. The Corsair 200R offers that in a mid-tower form factor and sells for around $64.99. We'll couple the Corsair case with a Cooler Master MWE Gold 650-watt power supply, which runs around $99. Nothing fancy, just enough to power everything with room to grow. Here's where I might surprise everyone. Remember, this isn't a gaming machine, so our GPU needs won't be terribly demanding. For that, we'll go with a motherboard CPU combination that includes a graphics chip. And since we're going to go with AMD, let's use the MSI MPG X570 Plus motherboard. This choice gives us plenty of room for expansion and costs around $169.99. For the CPU, we'll go with the AMD Ryzen 5 3400G. This CPU includes a Radeon Vega 11 GPU, so we'll save some scratch there. This is the same CPU that ships with the lower-end System76 Thelio desktops, so we can count on it working, certainly with Pop! OS. The cost of this CPU is surprisingly cheap, at $149.99. I've reached the point in my life where anything under 16 gigabytes of RAM is not enough. But since RAM is currently pretty cheap, we'll go with 32 gigabytes and we'll use four 8GB sticks of G-Skill Ripjaw DDR3600 RAM. With 32GB of RAM, this machine will stand up to just about any typical task you throw at it. This will set us back $139.98. I've used all kinds of drives, but in modern PCs you'd be foolish to go with anything but an SSD. To that end, we'll stick with the SSDs that I've never had a problem with. Samsung. In this case, we'll go with two one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo 1 drives. With a 1024 megabyte cache, these drives perform really well for average tasks. These run $179.99 each. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.